our first homemade raft. Our last homemade raft. One, two, three. Go for a long one. This is a really nice house. Yeah, it sure is. What else can we do with the styrofoam boxes? I have an idea. You do? What is it? In one of these. Ooh, that's awesome. Can we use this at the lake? Yeah. And I know exactly who can build it. Do you know who? Maybe. Do you know who? Possibly. I think I possibly could know too. But do you know who it is? Do you know who? 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 Let's, Let's ask, ask Dad. Dad. In this video, we are going to use these 48 styrofoam boxes. We're gonna make a raft. Yeah, so that we can go use it on the lake or we can use it to go flowing down the river. You guys ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> to start to make our raft, we're gonna use a styrofoam box. As you can see, there's an angle to our boxes. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to kind of alternate them where we put one upside down, the other one right side up. So that when we put them together, they're gonna line up fairly nice. Then the glue will stick better to it. Okay, and then the lid, we'll take the lid off. So my plan is to do is once they're glued together, we're gonna drill a hole in the middle on all through all of them and then we'll run a, a rope right across it. And hopefully that will secure them all together. Okay, so let's start gluing. We're gonna put four dabs of hot glue. To grab it and then we'll stick them together. Yeah, okay. Get a reload. Okay, Matthew. Put it on. We have them all glued together. Now we like to have a hole. Matthew, if you can drill a hole, about in the center. Okay, go to the next one and do the same. Yeah, even this one? Yeah, because we want the rope to go all the way through all the way. But on this one, you'll do it from the other side. Threading the rope through all the styrofoam boxes. And Brendan is still drilling away. We're in the process of threading through the last bit of the rope. Uh, that's all the leftover rope we have. So we have one more row to go, but I think we're going to omit the last row since we're going to run out of rope. But it's still going to be eight by two, four, five, which is pretty big. So we're happy with it. So we're going to take the end of the rope, we're going to attach it to the row before that. And what that does is it's going to secure all the boxes together. So what we're doing is putting it through and then we're pulling it 
and it's going to keep them all close together. Now the next thing we need to do is to feed the rope going across. We are still threading the rope through the styrofoam boxes and what we're doing is, this is what we're doing, we're actually making a cr uh, cross so that it, the styrofoam boxes will be held either way and hopefully this will work. Okay, we have the rope going through all the boxes, crisscross. We have them all nicely leveled and snug as possible. Now we're gonna tighten the rope on each one. So what I'm gonna do is tighten this one. Okay, you wanna pull at the other end, and we're gonna we're gonna pull this one in. Pull, pull hard. Keep pulling. So it's nice and snug. Okay, just hold on to that. So we're gonna. Keep it nice and snug. What we're gonna do is gonna pull this one. You wanna pull this one, Brendan? So it's nice and snug. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. There, see it's nice and snug. Okay, I'll hold this. You wanna go at the other end? So we're doing our last row and tightening up all the rope. And there we go. We're gonna tighten it. We're gonna wrap it around. And tie it off here. Since we have no more rope. And there we go. Now we have all the ropes tied together. As you can see, all of them should have a crisscross. So the next step we're gonna do is glue the lids onto the main box and the boys will do that. As you can see, they are almost done putting all the lids on, gluing them all on. And you see, they're standing on it. They're even jumping on it, testing it out. lids are now glued and secured. What we want to do now is to flip it over so we can do the same to the other side. Now we're going to glue all the top of the lids here and as you can see the bottom part also has all the crisscrosses crosses in each one of them. We are adding more glue in between the cracks to make them even more sturdy. We are now complete building our raft with styrofoam boxes. And now, what's the next step? Testing it. Testing it, absolutely. As you can see, our styrofoam raft is floating. They're gonna have some fun. Now there's the motor. And there you go. As they sail into the sunset. I'm gonna walk the plank. <laughs> Don't go from further behind. <laughs> that was the one I was gonna break. Remember? <laughs> that was the one I said was gonna break. You can take a bath. I'm already cool. <laughs> yeah, maybe because this one in the water. One in the water. Yeah. Hi. Going like this. <laughs> Going bang. As you can see, we have our boat on a boat lift. <laughs> Actually fits pretty good. We are the tugboat. Pulling up to towing raft that we have built. We're gonna take them to the middle of the lake and we'll let them float while we go fishing.
as they're coming back from their adventure. <laughs> You're supposed to come this way, but that's okay. This is how you build a raft using styrofoam boxes. Are you okay? Yeah. 